Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. If you are joining me for the first time, I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda with an E. We will be taking a look at Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, so you just need to have Aquarius placements uh, to be here, or maybe you just stumbled across this video. Welcome. Um, this was meant to find you whenever you clicked on it because it is timeless. Now, we will be using the Secret Tarot to take a look at anything hidden or secret that's coming out in the next three months. Now, energy is fluid, so this could very well be energies that you are now transitioning out of. Could very well be energies that you are amidst of, currently experiencing, or will be experiencing in the next three months. So, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates. Not everything's going to apply to everyone because it is collective, but trust your intuition over this reading always. We'll ask Spirit for a clear, concise message for Aquarius. Thank you so much. And Aquarius, I am so blessed and honored for you allowing me to tap into your energy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do we have for Aquarius? Two of Cups. King of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. This looks like a reading that I did <laughs> just a few minutes ago. Oh, maybe you're here from another um, sign. I do very highly encourage you to go check out your moon and your sun and your rising signs, okay? Anyway, Two of Cups speaks of a romantic partnership, okay? So it's extending a cup of love to someone and then extending it to you. It's a, it's a partnership. It's a romantic partnership, okay? But I see here with the King of Wands, and it is in reverse, okay? So Wands is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And with it in, revo with it in reverse, it's almost like somebody not going after what it is that they want, not having the drive enough to move forward. So maybe you either have this partnership that you're not kind of going after, or... You want this partnership and your significant person of interest is not driving in with offering you this cup of love, okay? But I do see that there is a partnership already, so I think there is something going on here. There's something about somebody not moving forward, okay? Uh, Ten of Pentacles is the cup, or the cup, the card of stability when it comes to building family and legacy and abundance and future and just yeah it's the card of having it all okay having everything you could ever want and building that family stability so i don't know if maybe there is a relationship and there's somebody here who doesn't want to build a long-term family or doesn't want a long-term commitment because two of cups is still just the two of cups i mean they're still you know all the way to the ten of cups it's just kind of like a partnership but there's no more to that there's just kind of yeah it's kind of blocked but it's still just sitting in a rom romantic state of so two people just kind of being romantic with each other okay so let's see the second row of what's going on here okay so now we got the king of cups i don't know why i said it like that the two of swords and the emperor in reverse okay 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 lots of masculine energy here for sure so i'm gonna say aquarius if you're not a masculine then this could very well be your, the other person's energy coming in okay but if you are like the masculine here then this is your energy and if this is like a romantic relationship between two masculines then try to decipher whose energy is what but we did talk about the king of wands which is fire aries leo sag we are now seeing the king of cups entering this picture which is cancer scorpio pisces and we're also seeing the emperor coming out here and i feel like the emperor showing up in reverse is a very it's a masculine energy, but it's somebody who is so in their um, ego and who is acting like kind of a spoiled child who is still tied to the mama's apron strings. So maybe somebody who isn't wanting to move forward with stability or, you know, long term commitment here, a decision to be made and the decision could very well be you are deciding between emotionally investing um with this person 
or getting your stability out of the situation with this per or what this person or you know what do you got to do to get your stability or do you stay in this connection with this person now the king of cups isn't always one who is completely expressive about how it is that they're feeling even though they are the king of cups they do have feelings they give good counsel they're very logical uh when it comes to being able to sort through feelings um you know they're they're not prone to bouts of emotional outbursts but i do feel as though there is the sense of still a contained feeling when it comes to this king so yeah i see here somebody burying their head in the sand and not making a decision but that could very well be because they are not moving forward which is a decision in itself okay so maybe there's a need for a decision somebody's not moving forward They'd rather just bury their head in the sand, kind of acting immature, kind of in their ego, maybe not being completely open with their feelings in this connection. Let's take another look. What do we have here for Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Oh, you guys, where are all these people coming from? I only know two people, three, me, myself, and I. Where are all these people going? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing at your situation here. Who is this Queen of Pentacles and why is she showing up? Death in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Okay, well, there is definitely collaboration. There's a lot of people in this situation, okay? The three speaks of people coming together definitely more than two trying to build something together it is in reverse so maybe three's a crowd maybe something's not working out but i feel like there is still a hanging on to a situation that needs to be clear that needs to come to an end <laughs> i don't know why i find this this queen of pentacles so hilarious but there is this queen she is earth energy Cancer, or sorry, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I did say Cancer, so I do feel like some of you guys are definitely um, <clears throat> involved with a Cancer here, or probably have a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel as though, yes, again, with stability. I mean, aside from the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen is also this person who is very stable and secure and steady you know and with it in reverse it's like somebody doesn't want to get steady secure and stable in this connection and they're kind of i don't know muddying the waters here with this third party energy they're not letting go of it they're not making a decision they're acting like a emperor in reverse which is like a little spoiled boy rather than being mature and maybe acknowledging some of their feelings going what it is that they want with the king of wands driving forward towards long-term stability and building a legacy for themselves and family structure okay with their feelings that they're not really showing Okay, so we got the Four of Swords in reverse. We got the Eight of Pentacles and we got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I do see here, um, so either Aquarius, and I hope you're, I don't know which side you represent here and if you're going through this, oh my goodness, like my head hurts just doing this, <laughs> this reading. And anyway, yet I'm laughing. So some of you guys might find this just so comical. And I do think this is like the only reading that's put me in boats of laughter and I feel like crying at the same time. Okay, so Nine of Swords, I think there's definitely healing that needs to happen here. So either you've healed and you're now able to make clearer decisions or you're needing healing and you're just rolling with punches, making a foolish decisions here without turning to a period of where you need to break away isolated pause heal yourself and really reflect on this broken heart of yours okay like this pain that's caused in this situation and again eight of pentacles is probably one of the most yeah it's like the card that shows the most dedication somebody who is like really sticking to a task to a project to commit themselves to something to make something and i feel like this in reverse is again not wanting to build that foundation not wanting to commit not wanting to be solid and stable with others okay uh but 
independently, this person is wanting to be single, is wanting to be independently solid, stable, take their own pentacles, build for themselves, build their empire, right? But I mean, that could very well be a sad state, okay? So maybe that's what this person is choosing to do or wanting to do rather than be <laughs> in this weird triangle okay so not weird i'm sorry making judgments but in this triangle with this third party i don't understand what's going on here <laughs> okay hangman one more for my poor aquarius unless you're causing all this on yourself because i hope you're pulling away and i do see you pulling away okay i see you having a period of suspension limboed state rising above it all, taking a look at everything. Who are the game players? You know, um, who are these players? What are they offering? What do I get out of it? Where is this going? Where is this long-term going to be beneficial for me? Really having this higher view of everything going on, not acting, not doing anything except for taking all this information at face value. What does it look like? And then saying, sayonara, mother effers. I am going away from all of this drama that's mentally causing me a whole bunch of freaking crazy grief with the six of swords it is moving away from crazy turbulent times and waters mental anguish and going someplace where it's not so crazy okay and i feel like with this knight of pentacles in reverse all because of somebody not wanting to move forward in investing or making this movement towards yeah really grounding something or they started something potentially that they weren't able to finish they just gave up and they didn't they weren't able to invest they weren't able to move forward so there's this movement away so i don't know if uh yeah like i say this could be something you're going through right now this could be something that's coming in but i wish i had better stuff here for you aquarius i love you guys so much um, you don't deserve to be in crazy headspace for very long periods of time. It does help us grow as individuals for sure, but not to the point where it is causing us just this crazy imbalance of crazy. So I do wish you the very, very, very best Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me on this reading. If you haven't checked out your moon, sun, or rising sign yet, please do so. I feel like it was the best overall picture of what's coming in in the next three months. The moon sign is generally one that provides insight into intimate relationships. So it might give you some more clarity around that. Uh, whereas the sun and the rising is more outside appearances, how you are with acquaintances, that sort of thing. So take a look at that. Thank you so much for joining. Wishing you the very, very best. Love and light. See you soon. Bye.